none of the teachers I had at school, I remember when I was 14, 15, studying for exams, were very inspirational. I had the feeling that they didn't really like, like poetry. Uh, they just did it because it was on the syllabus or because they thought it might be, you know, uh, they didn't like it. But we had one teacher, and he was an Irish Christian brother. He was an Irish Christian brother, teacher who taught physics. I was quite fierce. <sighs> Boy. Uh, but suddenly, in the middle of a lesson, he'd stop and go, ah, to hell with it, to hell with it, to hell with it. And he'd close his eyes, and he'd recite a poem, walk around the class reciting a poem, maybe by W.B. Yeats, um, whatever it was, or sometimes in Irish. In, in the language of Irish. And we were transfixed, transfixed. Uh, often didn't understand it, but there was something happening in there, something about language and, and feeling. Then he'd stop and go back to the... And that was interesting. So it was the poetry out of context. And I think sometimes, uh, using it, and I did when I was a teacher, a brilliant, brilliant teacher for a short, very short period, um, using poems outside of the poetry lesson, you know, poetry in the geography lesson. Um, you know, if you're doing geography and, and suddenly you think, ah, this, how about this poem? But it's about trees or about something or about a place or about red Indians or whatever. Um, or a, a poem in, in a science lesson. Not poetry in an English lesson where it's compartmentalised. I mean, poetry is beyond this, you know, in a sense. And I think I'm a great believer in the idea of poetry being you know, for everyone and being everywhere. It's when it catches up on you and can surprise you.